Who is getting married? You are. It has to do with the person that we're celebrating here in Vegas, but it also has to do with one of the hottest topics in the public arena today, free speech. <laughs> it's a millennia old topic with its origins tracing back to ancient Greece, but it's probably a conception that even predates that. There's something natural about speaking your mind, tracing out of that great organ of ours, manifestations of thought by written and spoken word, static and dynamic art, or any expressive medium you can think of. Yes? I don't think and, the GIU words works here. And it's recognizably unnatural to do the opposite, to bite your tongue, to dry up your quill or paintbrush, to shutter your camera lens, to stifle your mind. And yet there are many attempts still today to push free citizens toward those ends. You have academics who challenge the very idea that free speech is a natural human right, and you have people right around you who discourage the free exchange of ideas for fear of even subtle or slight contention. This is dangerous. Nay, in the words of 19th century philosopher John Stuart Mill, it is a particular evil to silence the expression of an opinion for two reasons. Number one, is that if the, opinion is, if the opinion is right, we lose the opportunity of exchanging error for truth. And number two, if the opinion is wrong, we lose the clear perception and livelier impression of the truth produced by its collision with error. In other words, we need to exchange ideas to realize when we're wrong and to know for sure when we're right. If we don't speak our minds, if we don't say what we mean and mean what we say, we risk knowing less as a species, and we might end up not really knowing each other. It's grim, right? But luckily, there's hope. Because there are other people around us who are so in tune with expression that by their exercise of it, show us and teach us how free speech ought to be. <coughs> we have one of those chieftains among us now. His gift, his talent, is the ability to say exactly what needs to be said, fearlessly and free from niceties, just good, clear, and curt talking, and have people love him for it. He is a living demonstration of what J.S. Mill was calling for so many years ago. He is living proof that all of those people who are telling us to hush now are wrong and always will be. This chieftain's name is Fred Lagarique. We're, we're here to celebrate him now in Las Vegas because he's leaving us in a few short days, but not before I propose this toast that we thank Fred. It's okay. Grab one. Okay. We'll die, die together. If you got a drink, hold it high. I can share beer. Oh my god, my god. I mean, I mean. It's cool. It's kind. Cheers. Hold on. May we thank Fred for the gift that he shared with us all during his time here, and may we honor him each day ahead by attempting to speak as freely, as fearlessly, and as wisely as he does. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Freddy. <laughs> Boom. Wow, wow. It's long-winded, but we had to had to lead you into lost it, me, man. But I we lost you. We lost you.